This is a Volkswagen Crafter, but it's not any old Crafter van. Oh no, this one has been modified by a company called CJL Leisure and costs £150,000. Why does it cost that much? Well, it's quite possibly the ultimate adventure van for a cyclist, which is handy because I'm traveling to the Global Bike Festival in Salbach and I need some transportation. I think this could be the perfect tool for the job. So join me as I head out on an epic road trip and use it as an excuse to show you all the incredible features and tech that are crammed in to this absolute beast. In recent years, camper vans have become really popular. And you can understand why, especially if you use the hashtag van life. You have the ability to load up your van, put your bikes in it, drive to an amazing location where you can then wake up with a ridiculous view and then go for a bucket list ride somewhere like Salbag. If that sounds like something you'd like to do, you've got a number of options. You can convert a van, much like what Blake is doing over on GMBN, or you can hire a van from various different places, or if you've got the money, you can buy an absolutely outrageous Uber van like this. This thing is off the charts. It, it, it really is incredible. It sleeps four people, two double beds. It's got seating for six. It has racking in the back for four bikes. It's got these really nice sort of custom upholstered uh, stitched leather seats that I'm rather enjoying. And um, it's, well, capable of operating fully off the grid. Uh, with Wi-Fi, its own power system and water. Amazing. Um, sorry, it really does make Blake's fan look pretty crap, doesn't it? Yeah. But I'm going to have to hot foot it and, and use all of the 180 buff ponies under my right foot in order for us to make it to Dover so I can make the ferry crossing or we ain't getting to Salbach. So I'm going to push on. The van also features a absolutely brilliant Alpine sound system, which sounds fantastic. But normally it would be filling the airwaves with uh, well, my usual selection of carefully curated 80s bangers and jazz funk. However, due to copyright restrictions, I can't subject you to those. So instead, we're going to listen to the oral delights of Mizorski and a night on Bald Mountain, which is free from copyright. Just boarded the ferry, made it to the crossing. It's a nighttime one. Um, and when we get to the other side, I'm going to go through the full meat and potatoes uh, of this van so that you can see all its sort of functions and what it's capable of. But uh, right now, I'm in the weird situation. It's the first time in my life where, having got on the ferry, I have to leave the luxury and serenity of this rather nice interior and go inside the ferry, which isn't quite as nice. Um, I'd much rather stay in the van, <laughs> but health and safety, got to go inside there. But it's not going anywhere, come back here and resume the drive afterwards. Anyway, all right, let's do it. This journey's long, so I'm gonna take a break and have a little 30 minute power nap. This vehicle is ideal for that. As mentioned, it sleeps four people, and it does so by way of this big double bed at the back of the vehicle, which is actually like well over six foot long, end to end here. So six foot one me, it's fine, like stretched out in it. That's proper cool. And then the other bed you've got is where the seats and table are. They, the table can be pushed down and that can be converted into a, another bed that can in theory sleep two people. So ideal, plus you've got all these like blinds and stuff that can come across the windows to make it just totally blacked out and get out all the light. This is the life. Right, power nap time. <sighs> If you're uh, oh, anything like me, first thing in the morning, you want to drop the kids off at the pool, have a shower and brush your teeth. 
Fortunately, if you're into multitasking, you can do all three at the same time because we've got a built-in toilet, shower and sink. For me, the biggest attraction of a van is you get to your destination, you go to sleep, you wake up and then you're presented with a view like that, <laughs> which is priceless, isn't it? Look at this, Saulback. Now I'm outside, I'm gonna show you some more of the other features of the van, starting with this huge awning that's across this side. It's electric and it's controlled by these buttons here. So you can, you know, full on camp here and get out the sun if you need to. It's, it's very warm here today, it's like over 30 degrees. We've also got these upgraded wheels, which just look the part, they're OZ racing wheels, like rally car wheels. They just look proper cool. And they've got these big high volume off-road Falcon tires on them, which kind of, I mean, they look the part, they look really cool, but they're also a bit functional because it stops you curbing your wheels and they've just got so much more tire volume. It adds quite a bit of comfort to a big vehicle like this, but round the back, that's where it really gets going. Follow me. So at the back of the van, this is where the business end is. So inside here, you can see we've got the racking for four bikes. So I've got two of my bikes in here and it's, a, it's really cool because it pulls out. It's very functional. You just do this clip and you can slide your bikes out. How awesome is that? So you've got uh, your two bikes racked on here, held in through axles. It can do mountain bikes or it can do different size through axles, whatever you need, um, or quick release. And then on this side, I've just, because I've only taken two bikes, you could put four in. I've got my front wheels that are secured in this wheel bag. Um, I've also got Peak Tool Kit, a pump, some shoes, and then this is hose attachment for 70 PSI pressure washer. So if I just slide these back into place, I'll show you where that goes. So here you've got a socket that this goes into for 70 PSI pressure washer so that you can get your bikes out here. You can actually do it with using the racking so that they're on the racking and they're secure and then just jet wash them down, clean them after your ride, which is ideal. And then I've also put in a load of muck off cleaning products here so that I can maintain them. Got a few spare tires if I need them as well. So everything that I should need on a bike adventure. Here is the socket so that you can actually fill up that big 180 tank. You can fill it there. And then this is the outdoor shower. So oh, if you're really, really dirty, like if, like you're a mountain biker or you're doing a gravel ride and you're covered in crap, you don't want to go inside the van and like dirty it up. So you can get, just shower yourself here outside. And this is warm too, which is pretty cool. There's loads of storage boxes and storage bags and just stuff everywhere. So you can just tidy all your stuff away. I've got a load of maintenance stuff in here, some cleaning brushes, extra cleaning powder if I need it. And then lubes, microfibers, all that stuff. It's like a mobile detailing van. <laughs> but I've got all that stuff in there ready to go when I clean the bikes. Um, but I'm feeling quite hungry. So I'm going to show you the kitchen. The kitchen in here is ridiculous. It's definitely nicer than the kitchen I've got in my actual house. <laughs> which is just stupid. So we've got this induction hob um, here. I mean, it's got an induction hob, um, which has two stove tops on it. You've got the sink here, which I'm gonna show you um, comes across. So you lift that over across like that, and then you have access to the sink in here, but you can also uh, create an extended worktop area because this piece can go on there. So you've got an extended work surface chopping board too. So nice big area to do all your prep. And then you've got that drawer pops down there so you can serve people outside if you need to. But then we've got the fridge, which is a 90 litre, might even be 95. It's got a little inbuilt freezer compartment in there, but plenty of uh, space for um, all the essentials. We also have a microwave oven, which is in here tucked away if you need a microwave. And here is your, well, first you've got wine glasses, very important, uh, a spatula and various utensils, and then you've got your cutlery, and it's all held in these foam drawers, so nothing rattles and moves around while you're driving. It's all really well thought out. And then down here we've got some pans and plates down here. There's just loads of storage as well, so these big side pods up at the top 
can store everything. So you've got, again, these foam inserts that hold these cups in place and glasses so that they're not moving around. And I've also got all my ride fuel energy products stored in there. Nice, all the essentials. And I mean, well, I'd love to sit here and enjoy the plush surroundings of this nice leather interior and just the beautiful fit and finish of this fan and also just chill out watching GCM Plus on the dual SIM Wi-Fi that the van has so it can go fully off grid. But unfortunately, well it's not unfortunate at all, it's going to be fun. I've got to get over to the Global Bike Festival. I hope you've enjoyed looking at this incredible van and big thanks to CJL Leisure for lending it to us. This van and also Blake's van have actually inspired me now to potentially take on our own van build project over on GCN Tech. Maybe even a, a, an ultimate team car conversion project. I'm not sure. Let us know in the comments section what you'd like to see. And if this video gets 20,000 thumbs up, we'll, we'll do one. So, uh, well, stay tuned. I am going to take full advantage of the fridge and the frothies I've got hidden in there. And go and enjoy the Global Bike Festival now. Oh. Cheers. Love you. Bye.